Hey up troops, hey Littleton here again with another video, and this time we're gonna look at- <laughs> That is a horrible effect to be inside, it means we're gonna be looking at Fenrir. Now I did do a Fenrir setup video, probably a couple months ago now, but somebody in the comments said, do more Fenrir setups. There's the comments. So I thought, why not? And by the way, just on that note, if you can think of a video that I haven't done and you want me to do, or a video that I did before and you think I should do it again, or a video I've done before but you want different setups, let me know in the comments below. I'm not just saying that to try and get you to comment to engage with the YouTube algorithm. I genuinely want to make the videos that people want to see. You know, I might think, oh, I want to watch some Malusi setups, but if nobody wants to watch that who's watching, i.e. you guys, What's the point? So if there's a video you haven't seen, whether it's attacking a site, defending a site, something to do with an operator, whatever it might be, get it in the comments below and I'll add it to the list and I'll get it made. So of course, we're going to go through five different maps to the previous Fenrir video. This one's going to include New Consulates, Skyscraper, Night Haven, Villa and Canal. Right, there's enough waffling. Let's just get stuck into it. First things first, shoot the video. I hate those things. Right, welcome to Skyscraper. And I'm going to show you the setup that I like to do on T and Karaoke. And it's really, really useful with Fenrir because you can put two traps to cover one area over there and just hold it from here. And then you don't have to worry about your backside or, well, behind you, not your backside, uh, because you can put another Fenrir trap down, which is going to give you an alert if anyone comes behind you as well. So first things first, let's worry about Geisha. This, this holder, by the way, is completely to, to hold Geisha. We'll talk about that bulletproof camera in a second. First Fenrir mine goes underneath the window. Second one goes underneath this table. Shoot out or punch out this vase first. Then just drop this under the table. Remember... Oh, not like that, sorry. Remember Fen... No, pick that up, please. I can't pick that up because it's trapped in the leg. Well, that'll do. It, but I would normally put it on the wall, actually. But remember that Fenrir mines or Fenrir FNATs only work with line of sight. So by having this vase in the middle of, um, in the, middle of the room here, once the enemy walks through this breach... The FNAT would only go off once they're out of the way of the Vars. So just get rid of the Vars. It's not worth keeping it up there. So the first one goes under the window. Second one under the desk. Then the third one goes to protect behind you when you're playing in drum. So this is drum, obviously. Guess what? There's a drum here. The third one goes just here. Now this is going to do two things. One, it's going to stop anyone. Oh, will give you information of anyone jumping through Terry's window. But also, if you look at the range, I have to throw it down to look at the range. You can see it comes out to this, uh, like the middle unit in the middle of the room, which means that it's going to give you a notification that if anyone pushes up behind you here, it's going to go off once they get to here, once that line of sight hits here. It's going to go off here. So if you're playing around this area, holding the breach, holding the window, you're going to know if someone comes behind you as well, because you're going to get that notification from this, and it also it's twofold because of the window as well. Now the bulletproof camera, put it slightly to the, to the left as you look at it from here. Like, obviously this would be the middle, it's slightly to the left. And that's going to give you a view through to tea room door. You can see a bit of karaoke as well, but also geisha. And then, of course, drum door. It gives you so much information from one bulletproof. It's also difficult to shoot for the attackers because if they want to shoot it from this side, they've got to get like tucked in here or tucked in here, which means they've got to turn the back to karaoke, which is not what you want to, not what you want to be doing. The other F nuts that I would use are somewhere around um, backstairs and the backstairs door here. So, probably it's a difficult place to put utility this is why pushing this way by the way is so strong because it's a difficult place to put utility because if you put an f nut there anyone that comes up the stairs just shoots it and if you put an f nut here anyone that's outside on this door can also just destroy it from there so it's always a tough place to cover just pick one of those two areas for now and then of course you can cover the other side of t door as well and again you put those two down Put those two FNATs down. You want to activate these three. And whilst you're defending this area, if you get a kill or a couple of kills, or if nobody pushes your direction at all, you can say, all right, well, nobody's pushed um, nobody's pushed Geisha window and no one's opened Geisha breach. No problem. I'll turn those on over on that side of the map and help the guys out over there. Still obviously worry about this area, but you can start playing here instead now. If they think the push is coming the other way, you can start holding through the drum. Tuck up in here. You know, whatever you want to do, but you can, that's, I mean, that's the beauty of Fenrir, isn't it? He's just so uh, malleable and ductile, which I think, if I, if my design technology class at school has taught me correctly, just means he can, like, mould to, to loads of different opportunities, uh, loads of different pushes because of the way he can just go, oh, actually, no, the push isn't coming there. Uh, the push is coming here. Let's do that instead. 
so so versatile on to top four on night even now then and this one's a worldie as well so this is kind of similar to the mute setup i did but obviously instead of stopping drones we're just putting traps down so slightly different though the first thing we want to do is put a fenrir f knight here and tuck it in as hard as you can not like that on this side of the wall now, yes, I know that's super obvious, but when you come around this corner from this door, which is where a lot of people come in from, they're not going to see that when they come around the corner. And they also can't shoot it from behind as well. You can only shoot them from the front. The first one goes there. Second one goes in this corner here. And the third one can either go under this window or in this corner here. I prefer this corner. And the reason being is, yes, it doesn't get the window, but you'll see why in a second. You sort of fall back from each of these points as the round goes on and eventually end up basically playing here to try and hold this window hold this door and hold anyone coming in from the breach or the other side of the side the other two that we've got left can go on the main breach if need be um don't put it here because it's going to get destroyed when everyone takes mez and can see it's really obvious there try and tuck it in there and then the other one over on the other side of the side on that door there you could also put one on mez if you wanted to try and help your team out there where if there's you know someone's pushing up the stairs you could tuck it in behind here or something but up to you what you want to do with the other two, really. The three that we're going to turn on... By the way, absolutely reinforce this side and make a rotate here. Don't reinforce both of these. Make sure you've got one reinforcement left in your back pocket. So if you get forced out of connector early, you can come back in and reinforce behind yourself. A bit like you do on Elbow on Oregon. So the first one we're going to activate is this. We've also got feet holes here, by the way, to watch if anyone jumps through this window. You're, at, you're going to win that fight every time. Just remember, when you're holding feet holes, don't hold the actual feet, if you know what I mean. Yes, you want to be looking at where the feet are so you can see when they jump in the window. But you want to be aiming here, which is like chest head height. Obviously, head height, ideally. You're still going to see the feet at the bottom of the site, but don't aim at feet height because you don't want to start shooting people's ankles when they jump in. So you're, the whole point of this setup is to fall back from each point of contact and waste, ideally, 20, 30 seconds at a time, maybe longer if you can. The drones are going to come from under here, sometimes up the stairs, but not very often, mostly through this wall. Um, you're definitely going to, by the way, need wall denial for this because if this wall gets open and you're here you're cut off and you're not going to be able to get back across. So you're definitely going to need a bandit or a case to come and uh, help you uh, deny this wall. The first one goes here, and you're just going to hold this angle, play aggressive, wait till the drone, kill two or three drones when you get droned out from here, and then move back to this area. Hold this angle as long as you can, but don't hold the angle aggressively, and obviously, if you know what I mean, you've got this trap for a reason. You can play off this trap. So wait until that trap activates, and then swing and try and get the kill, because whilst you don't want to be holding this angle here... And the person, like the attacker here, is able to just swing and have a gunfight with you whilst not being impeded by this trap. You want to make sure that they're affected by the trap before you fight them. You've got more chance of winning the gunfight once they're in the effects of the F now, obviously. To try and get that fight there. What's probably then going to happen is that you're either going to get the kill or you're going to get pushed back. So if you do get pushed back, you can either go into sight or someone in sight should be thinking about reinforcing this behind you. Or keep it open if you want to be more aggressive, obviously. But then you fall back to this area here and we turn this one on. You'd ideally have all three of these on to start with. But, um, so now we fall. This trap probably gets destroyed. Now we fall back to here. We can use this one for cover. Remember, don't just reveal yourself to this window the whole time, but hold this now. And again, we're in. now we're in this angle. You don't want to be holding this because the, uh, the, the attackers are not going to be under the effects of the FNAT. Wait until they come through the door, the FNAT activates, and then swing. And again, make sure you take the gunfight when you've got the advantage when they're in the effects of the trap. Should they then push you off this area? No problem. Push back to here. This way, it's a little bit tricky because you're going to have to cross this window. And that if this window's open and somebody's holding the angle, and if a good attacking team will be doing this and just holding the cutoff so you can't run back to site. Um, but just as you come back, see if the window's open. If the window is open, then you're either going to have to stay in this area and just fight it. Maybe go back into site through the rotate if you can. Or try and fight the window and pre-fire the angle that you know they're going to be on. So again, you move back to here, and now we're playing off this trap. So you can tuck in here, wait for the trap to activate on the door, or if someone pushes in through the window. When they push in through the window and they get to here, this trap will activate. They are in range once they get to here. If you put it under the window, obviously they won't be in range at the door straight away. You can see the, the, the idea behind it is that you hold quite far down the map to begin with. Destroy drones and the start of the round as they come in. Then as that door gets open and there's a chance an attacker could push around, we drop back. Use this trap to our advantage. Wait till the trap goes and have a gunfight. Then get pushed back to this area. Do exactly the same thing here. Try and kill a drone or two when they come in. Wait for the push. When that activates, we take that one. Hopefully no one's holding you there. You come back to here and do exactly the same thing. Kill a drone or two if they're droning you out. Wait for this one to activate and swing there or swing there, depending on the sound. 
Um, the other two can be used as necessary. If you feel like the push isn't coming that way, obviously you can turn a couple of these off. And I'm not going to say this on every side, but you know what I mean. Turn them off. Turn them on if the push isn't coming that direction. And you can still... I mean, this is an insanely good um, crossing angle. There's going to be a line of sight here when you set the sight up properly. And the uh, Ish. Um, so being able to hold here. If you know there's no one behind you, this angle here is incredibly strong to hold because th this is the only way into sight. Um, this door from the the main breach. Obviously, they could be coming that side as well, but you're going to have your F not activated if they do. But yeah, just just try. You can do this on loads of sites where you sort of you put your F nats up in a line, almost like one, two, three. Uh, I didn't even aim at that one then. One, two, three, and you move back as as you get pushed away. But you're going to waste a minute, minute and a half, two minutes, and you're going to be destroying three, four, five drones as they try and push out and, and find out where you are. Um, but yeah, it's a really solid set. So if you do need a bit of help, like this um, area here can be a bit of a nightmare to play if someone's got nades on this window, because the nade just goes onto the ceiling there and it drops down below. So if you've got a Jaeger, bang an ADS on the back of this, and 100% you're going to need a bandit or a cade to deny that wall. Onto consulate now, and we're going to look at the top floor around CEO, holding the yellow stairs side of the map. First one goes on this pillar here. Second one goes on this door here. Third one goes on the window right here. Now, this is very much like what we talked about on Night Haven. And we're going to use these to fall back onto each other and use this to cover our own back. The second ones you can throw are top spiral. Just around the corner of the top of it, though. Like, don't throw it here. Throw it just around the corner. So when the attacker gets to the top here, it only goes off when they get to here. And they're not sure where it is because they look that way. Um, and the second one goes on the default plan spot on this door here. That side. So we're going to activate these three. If the push comes this side, sorry, let me just move my microphone. If the push comes this side and we can use these three to defend, great. As always, if the push gets diverted elsewhere, we can turn one of these off. If you know no one's coming to that window, being able to put this one on in this corner to stop the plan there is so useful. This should be have a, uh, a hole in the wall, by the way. Let me just show you the setup you should be doing. You want to be doing this wall setup like this so when you're playing here this this first one that's out there is to stop anyone coming up yellow or coming through this single reinforced wall we're going to play on here as always wait for the trap and then swing don't go too far forward because you're going to get picked from the skylight once we lose this area we get droned out of here we get grenaded get flashed whatever we do we have to move back to here and again we're going to do the same thing with this one we're going to wait for that one to go off and then swing we're not going to hold the angle there's no point in doing that wait until you've got the, the effects of the f nat and then turn and then swing, sorry, not turn. We've got this one here. Turn that off back over there a second. We've got this one here, so just watch our back. So if this window gets open, we don't have to start holding this window because we're not holding this then. But this is just if anyone jumps in here. If this window doesn't get opened, you can turn this off or even have this turned off until this window does get opened. That's just to watch your own back. And then obviously you've got a spiral through that. That dive got an itchy nose. Hang on, I really apologize. Excuse me. <coughs> Oh, man, I just had the itchiest nose that's ever existed in the world ever. Um, spirals through there, and then, of course, you've got the default plant spot around the corner here. In terms of a uh, bulletproof cam, I, you go wherever you want, really. I like going um, somewhere either on this wall here, which gives you the audio of this door, and it means you can watch the double door, and you can see through the head holes this way as well. Let me show you. You can see through the head holes there into that side of the site as well. Up to you with the bulletproof cam here. There's no one particularly great spot. However, let me show you this. Don't open this hatch fully, but just shoot to the left-hand side of it. So just shoot there, and then once more to the layer below, and you won't break the hatch. But the reason you do that is a lot of people jump in. I haven't quite destroyed where I wanted to below. There we go. A lot of people jump into closet below, which is this room here. So you can hold closet by just opening a tiny little bit of that hatch. I'll show you what I mean below. Closet seems to be everyone's favourite sort of way of getting into the map for some reason, and I don't really know why. Is it actually called Closet on the map? I don't know what's it called. Oh, it is called Closet, yeah. People jump in here. Attackers seem to just really enjoy entering through here. And then by the time they get to here, you're holding that there. They're not even going to... You're going to see them before they see you. Alternatively, that's one side of consulate. Alternatively, you can also hold the admin side of consulate, and we'll show you that right now. Let me just go and pick these f nats up, and we'll jump over to the side of the map. I should probably just cut this and then restart the clip when I'm on the other side of the map, but I'm not going to do that. What have you had for your tea? What have you had for your dinner? That's the big question. I've not had mine yet. It's 10 to 5, so we've uh, we've not had dinner yet. 
Although I think we're having a curry, which I'm quite excited about because I haven't had curry for a little while. Um, right, that's enough small talk. Let's talk about holding this side of the map. So, I push from this side of the map personally. I don't like pushing from the yellow stairs side. I think this is a better push. Reinforce these walls here. Or if you've got a mirror, you could even play a mirror. And then you want to be putting an F knight here. You could reinforce these or make a line of sight here as well. You can... Let me just show you the line of sight you can make. You can hold the window jump in then. Um, the window jump in is just... You can see the window there. So you can hold the window from here or the jump in from here. Um, so you want to have a F knight here. And an F knight here. Oh, not there. That's a terrible spot. No, just there. And again, like before, let me just uh, activate these guys. There we go. And then, like before, we're not going to swing this until we get the information that the, the f has been triggered. And then we swing it. We don't shoot the door frame, though. We shoot to the side where the head's going to be. And again, that side. We don't want to be swinging this door. If we're in here, because you know they're here, you don't want to be swinging that until the door gets opened. If there's two of them, you sort of got to take a risk and a gamble on which one's going to be coming first. And, you you know, you, you, it's difficult to win a gunfight against two people at the same time. Um, but, yeah, you can do that really well holding um, holding the admin side with, with Fenrir. On to everybody's favorite rank map now, Canal. And we're down in the basement. I mean, this is the most popular way to push this site, right? Usually, you're going to get people pushing trench door nonstop. So, you want to put one. Make sure it's down to the left of the door. Now, we've talked about placement before, um, but obviously when they come through trench door, you don't want them to have to shoot there and then move the crosshair to there. They've got to have to turn all the way around so they've got the back to you, and then they've got to shoot that and then spin 180 to try and fight it. Almost impossible to do, and if you lose that fight, once they're in an FNAT and they've got the back to you, if you lose that, uh, I don't want to say it's time to give up, but I think you're going to be far off. Um, the next one goes under locker's window. And the last one goes on main stairs. Now, this this placement's quite key. You want to make sure that it doesn't go on the edge of the stairs here, but also you don't want to make sure you put it there because it's not going to see anything. You want to make sure you put it right on the edge of where it's going to see people coming down the stairs, and, but also it can't be seen from trench door then. You see, if you put it higher up here, it can be shot from trench door. So just make sure it's there. And all we do is hold this side of the map here. Now, be careful. Obviously, this is all soft floor, and a good coordinated team is going to go above and open this floor out on you. If that happens, you're going to have to fall back to a safer place. However, you should also have some players upstairs defending that happening. Um, so, you know, you can't counter for everything yourself. So, from here, we don't peek it. Don't hold this angle. Don't even give them half the chance of killing you. You just wait here until you hear the trap go and swing. Don't just, don't hold the angle. You wait till this does its job. Again, this side, you don't have to worry about jumping in lockers and someone pushing you because you're going to get the notification. And the other way that someone's going to push you is down main stairs, but obviously you've got that there now. The other two places you need to worry about are scuba and the hatch drop. So scuba could be covered here. I mean, place an F now wherever you want in here. Either cover yellow stairs by putting something tight on this corner for when they come down, or even around here. I mean, as you saw then, the range goes pretty far out to the edge of the wall there. You're going to have to... Most people are going to go into this area here. And then, of course, the hatch drop. You don't need to put it like... You can put it under a shelf, you can, or you can just put it on the roof. Bear in mind, it's soft floor. So if you go under a shelf... not that, It'll go a bit further in, sorry, than that. That wasn't very good. That's not letting me do that, so that's good. Uh, let me try and move in this. See if I can get in here. That's much better. That's, it's only a slight difference, but that being there instead of being there will make all the difference. So yeah, anyone that drops the hatch, they're not going to know where that is because you're not going to see that from above, obviously. Might as well show it, why not? What else are we going to do at the time? So anyone on the hatch here, absolutely not going to know that's there. By the time they drop, that activates. They haven't got a clue where it is. They're going to be looking around here, and it's here all along. That one's really, really good. And the hatch drops for Fenrir... Like, clubhouse basements as well is so, so solid. Even if you were to just put it there, um, it's such a solid place to put uh, a Fenrir to, to, to defend the hatch drop. That's about it. Your bulletproof cam can go either on this wall or on this wall. Ideally, that wall, because on this wall, um, if you put it here, it's easily destroyed by anyone who does actually get in trench. You know, they do actually get in here and it's easily gotten rid of. So, yeah, just hold this area. Make sure if anyone pushes uh, locker's room, you're holding that. And then again, anyone trench there. But don't don't give them that free kill. Just tuck in. And hopefully your defending team and te uh, defending teammates 
stop the guys opening the floor above you. So we're on Villa then, and this strat is really, really solid for holding 90, and it's super simple, right? All you're going to need is one FNAT here, and then one FNAT just outside Wolf or Pig. And if anyone's ever wondered why this is called Wolf or Pig, well, there's your, there's your answer. Wolf, Pig. So people, some people call this Wolf, some people call this Pig. Yeah, I don't know why there's never been a universal call between the two. I personally call it Wolf, but I do know people who call it Pig. So, the, the whole premise here is fairly simple. You've just got to watch out for 90 window. If anyone starts uh, repelling on 90 window, you probably need someone below to, uh, to use this window here to open the window, maybe. Or even you could open the window from here, just so the person on 90 window has to think about something. But the whole premise is, as you'd probably imagine, we've got an FNAT here and an FNAT here. If that one goes off, we swing this way. If this one goes off, we swing this way. And holding on to 90 is, is pretty tough. This wall is generally reinforced, or, well, near, pretty much always reinforced. And 99 times out of 10. Well, we haven't said that for a while. It's reinforced all the time. So when you play here, you're pretty much playing your life because there's not very often you're going to be able to get out of here and find your way to safety. Opening the hatch gives you half a chance of getting out. So you've got to try and have a fight. Push, push, push and then drop down the hatch as you try and get away. But the whole premise is just to wait until those FNATs go off and then swing with that information. Now, obviously, you've still got three more FNATs. And the key one is the main default plant spot, in my opinion. There. You're going to have someone playing main stairs some of the time. And if you are having someone playing main stairs, having an FNAT here is really helpful to know when somebody's left uh, study. And then you've got one more to go wherever you want it to go. Top main, maybe. Wherever you want the last one to go, it's up to you, really. I'm not going to tell you where to place all five. Um, I just think those three... Uh, put that one back up. Obviously here, to know if anyone's pushing you towards bar door. Here, to know if anyone's pushing you out a trophy. And there, to know if the default plan's going down. Just a, it's, it's really fun to play here because it's such... A, if you enjoy getting into gunfights and you're patient then this is for you. If you're not patient, then don't play here. Because if the first sense of a gunfight and you're like giving it this straight away, you're going to get picked off and it's going to be a waste of a uh, a waste of a player. So only play here. If one, you enjoy being in gunfights, and two, if you can just exercise a little bit of patience where you just you know you're just here to waste time. So there we have it. Five more sites and how to play them as Fenrir. Bear in mind what I've just shown you there. Like how you sort of play further away and then come back using the FNATs as your fallback to site. Can be used on so many different maps as well. So don't just think, oh, I can only do that on Night Haven. You can do that on any map. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and many others that a lot of you watch. I really appreciate it. Whether you've watched it 10 times, if you watched it for 10 seconds, or if you've watched it for 10 hours, which would be outrageous, but whatever. Thank you very much for getting involved. I might make the videos, but what's the point if nobody watches them? So thank you for getting involved and watching the videos. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!